joins us now. He's in our virtual green room for this edition of Author's Corner. And I think you all know how I feel about poetry. I've talked about that before, that my father wrote poetry. And it's just fascinating to me what drives people to write poetry. And in his book, he talks about growing up and reading a lot of books on everything he could find to read. So science, philosophy, politics, history, music, romance novels, comic books. Wow, that's interesting. Imagine one day you're in a romance book and the next day you're in a comic book. And and like me, he's a huge movie buff. Action flicks, comedies, love stories, science fiction, and romantic comedies. So Alan, you're a well-rounded individual, I think, because you had your nose in all kinds of things. Things when, especially when you were reading, but also with uh, movies as well, is that part of the reason that it kind of drove you toward poetry? Yeah, I, I think it was a creative thing in me. I took art in school too, and, and I, you know, I, I was like into creating things and, you know, just imagining. I, have, I guess I had a good imagination, and I tried to, you know, drawing pictures and thinking of just thing you know <laughs> an imagination and and i liked creating things and and one thing that kind of drove me to this it was something creative too and a way to express myself maybe on paper a different way besides you know drawing a picture maybe a picture of what you know was going on in my mind or what i was thinking and what was the reaction to the women in your life, to the poetry that, that you've written? Because you write about love. Um, some of them have read them. They really liked them. And, of course, a woman, like my wife, would, she's like, curious, who am I writing this about? And I <laughs> said, I, I told her, well, most of them I wrote for you, but I, I was scared. I didn't want to give them to you. Or I was like, you know, I don't know. I guess it was just... That was the right answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I both of them were. And some of them, actually, I wrote years back. I had actually had just once in a while, just like, I need to write a poem and, and get this off of me. And just what stuff I was thinking. And I'd write it down on a piece of paper. And I ended up having, like, papers all over the place, just different places. And then when I decided to do a book, I was, like, digging around through stuff and, fi- and put them all on the computer uh, that would took a time to just to fight, round them up, and I probably still got some somewhere. I don't know where they're at now, but you know, I just wrote them in a notebook, or and just uh, sometimes I'd be at work and think of something and just write it down on a little, you know, stick of note or something. Yeah, but yeah. And so you pull them together in different ways, and then the name of the book, by the way, the the poetry, is When a Man Loves You, What He Doesn't Say. So when a man loves you, what doesn't he say? I don't. I don't think we say a lot. I think. <laughs> I think men are. You know, we're brought to be tough, and and you know, we're got to be tough and strong, and and not show our feelings, and and uh, and I'm guilty. I'm the same way. I mean, I played football and 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 did all these sports, and you know, wrestled and baseball and. And, you know, try to be the tough guy, I guess, or whatever. But but still, you would get the, you know, you'd meet a girl and think you're in love or something. And you don't, and maybe you're too scared to say something because you don't, you know, you don't want to get hurt like anybody else. Or maybe something, you know, happened and you got hurt. I mean, it happens. And yeah. I would put it on paper. I well, now, see, that, 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 that <laughs> sets you apart. Tell me that story in a second. That sets you apart, because if you were expressing your feelings in poetry and you were handing them to some of these some of these girls, some of these women, I would think that you would be very popular. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it sometimes I think they were put aback because most guys wouldn't do that or they wouldn't say anything or they would just. You know what I mean? They wouldn't. uh express themselves yeah good for you for doing that so tell tell me your story tell me a story about somebody that you gave one of your poems to well i think there was one that uh gosh it was someone i met when i was working at jc penny and i and i thought she was beautiful she kept coming in and she talked to me i think we went out one time 
and I wrote a poem and gave it to her. And then I don't know. I think I I think it. Uh, it may sound crazy, but I think it scared her away because she quit coming around. Like she probably didn't know what to think. Like, what is this guy thinking? Or I don't know. It's just it's something different. I don't guess every guy does that. Yeah, I think I think a lot of guys don't don't do that. But good for you because I think what you're describing, you did take a risk um, by doing that. But but good for you because that was a way to for you to express yourself. We're speaking with Alan Annis, and his book is "When a Man Loves You: What He Doesn't Say." Do you have a favorite poem that you've ever written? Well, I was looking through this first book. I put it together. Um, on my own, self-published it. I'd, and as I was going through them, because you you know you said something about find my favorite one. I really picked out about five or six I really thought were good. But then I got to the last one. I said, you know what? This is it. This is like it like sums up the whole book. Yeah, there and, you um, go. What is I it? I could share. It. I would share it. The title is "It's Stuck in Me." I got so much I want to say, I just can't get it out. It's coming from my heart, and it wants to shout. Sometimes when we're together, it's stuck in me. I want to tell you how I feel. It won't break free. Right now, I struggle to describe how I feel now. I just know you got deep in my heart somehow. So, dear lady, remember in those quiet times here, Those words I want to say are stuck in me, dear. I know the words are simple to say, I love you. But when it runs so deep, the feeling's true. It's coming from my heart and it wants to shout. Got so much I want to say, I just can't get it out. Wow. Bravo. Well done. It's stuck in me. That's such a good name for a poem. And you know what's interesting, Alan, too, that you've had these different careers where, and you mentioned it, as a kid working in retail sales, transportation, manufacturing, and utility work. You and I have talked about that off the air, some of the crazy things that are happening across America and and what we're seeing. And do you think that also adds to your experience because you've done a lot of different things? Yeah, I'm pretty diversified. I'm probably, I've never been afraid to try anything as far as work-wise or, um, you know, I've done different things. I mean, when I was younger, I had friends in a band. I ran sound for the band. I was the sound guy for them. And they weren't like a big-name band, but it was fun and it was something creative. And, and uh, I, you know, if people would ask me, hey, you want to do this? Sure, I'll help you. I've always tried to help people and if they needed help and I, I uh, just keep busy and then you, you know, you go through your life, things happen, you meet somebody and, and, uh, I've got, you know, three kids. Um, and to be honest, this was hard for me to do to put this out here because I knew, I knew I'd probably get reactions from different people and, <laughs> And my mom, then my mom's like, I didn't know you did that because I didn't tell nobody. I would just do it and write these down. And and as a matter of fact, I'm working on a second book. It's I'm trying to get it out by early next year, maybe maybe the end of December, because I have more that I wrote that I didn't put in the first one. And um, just the goal. I just started thinking, well, maybe if people, I got a good response from people that I that bought it and. and uh, And also family, they're like, oh, wow, do this. You know, my mom really got excited. She goes, wanted me to say, well, you need to do it again. This is awesome. But uh, it's uh, something to do. I I just thought uh, there's probably more people like me out there that got things on their mind and they don't want to say it. They're worried about what someone's going to think or or like I said, if it's stuck in you, you can't get it out. 
I like it. That's why I'm, I'm so happy that was your favorite because it do, it's true. It's stuck in you, so you found a way to express yourself. And uh, this is something that I think a lot of guys listening could, you know, if you could do the same thing that Alan's done, man, you could really uh, open yourself up, I think. So, again, it's when a man loves you, what he doesn't say. You can get that on Amazon. Alan, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I, I appreciate being on your program. Of course, and we can't wait to see what happens next for you. And thanks to everybody out there for listening to this version of the show.